welcome back. We are us, and this... This is Evil West. Now, I don't remember anything that happened last episode at this particular moment. But I remember there were spiders. So, you're welcome for that if you have arachnophobia. seen you survive worse. Squeezing my brain. Oh, there's some thoughts in here that, that aren't mine. Oh, I see her, Jesse. Oh, no. You must stop her before. Wait, wait. I see Sai. Dickinson. She's in Dickinson. I need to get to Dickinson. Tough old bastard, he's turning it around on her. It's gonna be a hard sell to Harrow. Gotta try. You keep an eye on him. And keep your hands off that switch. Smells a, little, smells a little like bacon in here. So, uh, off to Dickinson then. Mr. Harrow is waiting in the briefing room. He's, well, he's being himself, if you know what I mean. Ah, that's great. Did you even think it was smart to keep the money guy in the dark? I assure you, Mr. Assistant Secretary, we came to you as soon as we knew. God damn. Like I don't have enough going on already. Where is he anyway? Assistant Secretary Arrow, sir. Agent Rentier. And Dr. Blackwell brought me up to speed on your father. Sir, we... I know. It couldn't have been easy. His shadow will loom large over us all. Please accept my condolences on behalf of a grieving nation. I try not to wallow in grief. It only leads to blunder. And this country desperately needs success. Aside from the news of your father's tragic demise... I've also briefed the Assistant Secretary on the successful destruction of Felicity's leech factory in McCallum Sawmill. That and a penny will buy me a cup of warm piss, Doctor. No one is safe while that crazy she-beast and her army of freaks are on the loose. And do you have any idea where she is? No. Actually, I do, sir. We have intel that she's currently in Dickinson. What intel? Can't say, but it's 100% solid. Great. You can head for Dickinson after you get back from Kingston. Kingston? There's a case containing some very sensitive information there that I need picked up. But, sir, the Dickinson lead. There's at least three interstate railroads there. It might be a part of Felicity's transport. Very well. You, you there. What's your name? Oni? Virgil Oni? 
Do you know your way to Kingston, only Virgil? Uh, with all due respect, Mr. Assistant Secretary, Virgil is our top engineer. Uh, he is not fit for field action. I don't give a watery shit about his curriculum fucking vitae, Doctor. I'm funding this circus of yours, and I want those papers back now. Mm. I'll get them for you. What do I need to know? We recently got our hands on a partial list of companies tied to the Andalusia Financial Services Group, like McCallum's Mill and the Kingston Oil Fields. Tabano. Tabano, indeed. He and his maniacal brat are up to their assholes in illegal acquisitions, and the government intends to seize their not insubstantial portfolio. Sounds like you need a lawyer, not a vampire hunter. Tried that already. I even sent in the blasted National Guard to secure the papers. But the place was guarded. That's where you come in. So what exactly am I looking for? Based on the final telegram from my forensic accountant, Andalusia's portfolio of holdings is stashed in a briefcase, presumably still at the Kingston Oil Fields Bureau on the far side of the lake. I still don't get why it's more urgent than looking for Felicity and Dickinson. Wars cost money, Rentier. And unless you've forgotten the incident at your former headquarters, we are at war. This could very well turn the tides in our favor. All righty, we're back in the driver's oh, let's seat. Get this over with. You all right, folks? I need to find the office. You crazy? The whole area has been totally overrun by bloodthirsty freaks. The National Guard's fighting back, but there's too many of those monsters. If they don't get some help soon, we're all goddamn doomed. Hey, speaking of help. Let's go. How much money do we have now? Six thousand. We can unlock something. Yeah, I think the fist of steel might be the one we go for first. We have to find this one. Wouldn't mind more rifle damage. As things stand, I don't remember how, I don't know how to switch back to the freaking rifle from the crossbow. The crossbow has more shots, but it also has travel time, which makes it difficult to properly time. Ooh, I would like to be able to shoot flames further. I know we have the perk point, but I... From what I remember last time, there was nothing that I actually wanted or needed that would be of any value to me, so I think I'll just hold off for now. instructions, I have assessed the value of these assets, and I can assure you that the Kingston oil fields are still pumping and extremely profitable. If properly managed, they can bring in hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars per year.
Yeah, it looks like I can get back up. Yeah. Ghost boom stick. Figured there'd be something like that in there. Still hit me. Come on, take the shot. Ow! I mean, I double tapped the space bar and he didn't move at all. Much easier when the shot doesn't have travel time. by that. At least I didn't have to use my heel. Wait, did I end up going the right way? It only just occurred to me. Uh, well, that sucks. Oh no, this is fine. I I went down there and got the chest that was right there, so yeah.
Well, that doesn't bode well. Hate that. I wonder. Hey, you! Can you help us out? The National Guard brought the fields, but my friends were stuck on the other side. Find a way to train the lake. God dang it. God dang it. I can't ignore the mobs because they're way faster than the other ones we faced when we first fought this thing. I missed my opportunity. God dang it.
other thing on him, but whatever. Got it.
Dang it. I don't understand how you're supposed to get that shot and not take damage. And if you don't hit at that time, it just resummons the eggs and you have to do it all over again. I only meant to actually kill one of those things. So there'd be fewer of them to deal with. Barely got that animation off in time. <laughs> you know, it had occurred to me to do that in the previous fight with it, in the other episode. I would assume the previous episode. But I never really had the opportunity, because I was basically flying by the seat of my pants. Now that was probably more rough than it needed to be, but... Over here! Thank you, stranger. We thought we were goners. Is there some way we can repay you? Yeah, you can point me towards the oil company office. Oh, it's on the other side of the lake. Though so you're gonna have to drain it to get over there. Release all counterweights and you'll open the sluice gates. Let's drain this sucker. Good. Need to get to that other one now. Oh, that path 
way runs on electricity. Need to find a generator. Thank you for letting us out, sir. No, you realize you were barricaded in from the outside, right? I hope you make it, sir. first. Seems healthy. All right now. I mean, I'm assuming the gauntlet itself was the one that was supercharged, and Jesse himself wasn't actually full of electricity. Uh, oh, I can keep going. Have lied to you. I mean, yeah, it's entirely possible the guy was a familiar or something, but. Well, that's all I've really got, just a butt. that up. Thank you. Keepers. I have absolutely nothing to do with that extra perk point, though.
Oh. I was sure I wasn't going to be able to go down here. Gentlemen, shut up. Oh, that's bad, isn't it? Not have gotten hit there. Ow. That's bad. God, thank you. Right. I need 
didn't expect to be immediately killed. I was sure I was fine. But I mean, the wind up on that is so absurd. That's just weird. I mean, the fight didn't bug out or anything. But I just... It's just... There's nothing here now. Oh, that's fascinating. More money. Also, I assume that's XP I now no longer get. I have mixed feelings about that. Is that it? Hey! Who's there? So... There it is. Uh, oh, I see what happened. That's right, I pull levers without even knowing why. One, so the other one's over here. Mm, deal with it later. That shot should have landed. work like a charm. I mean, I see what we did, but will the guy still talk to us? Yep, so over here. I'll take that. Thanks for letting us out. The office, where is it? I need the man in charge. There's no way to get there from here. Yeah, unless you use the zip line from the top of that tower. But that'd be crazy. He's a vampire hunter. Please, you gotta help my buddies. Once you get on the other side, just follow the pipes. It's a kind of maze, but just keep going. <sighs> I'm 
so glad you made it, sir. Well, looks like they got hungry. No wonder why the other guy was grabbing his shoulder. God bless you, sir. Boom Eternal. An electric upgrade for the boomstick is now available. Let's go ahead and see what it's about. Boom Eternal. The electrically augmented boomstick spawning charged anomalies that deal damage on their path. 3,000 bucks to go. Yeah. I actually forgot we had the boomstick. Huh. Okay. Well, we know what we're getting next. I just have to remember that we have the boomstick in order to take advantage of it. I also have no idea how we're supposed to... see my family now. I also have no idea how we're supposed to actually use it, so... You know, we have that to look forward to. After a closer examination, I believe these trust documents are suspect. Every 30 years, the property rights are transferred to the next generation. However, I believe that Peter DeBono has likely been deeding them to himself for who knows how many years. Sincerely yours, Jonathan Q. Biddle. What an unfortunate last name. Doesn't appear to be a way to get up there. Yet. Got through. No, really, though. How do we get up here? So there's this up here. Now that I think about it, the augment for the shotgun is probably going to consume some of the battery. Which isn't too big of an issue, so long as there are trash mobs to kill. He wasn't talking about using a zip line from the top of this. I also keep forgetting that we have the other thing on the X button. Let me enlighten you folks! Whatever we're about to run into is going to be nasty. I have my doubts it'll beat the fight with the, the, the bug thing.
Oh. I could have pulled him now that I think about it. Wait, isn't this the guy that I'm supposed to punt these fools to? how to do it. There it is. Oops. Can't avoid that one. Woo! And invincibility to move. Almost. Oh, that's not great. Got it. <laughs> oh, that's not great.
wasted a potential heal. Actual frick. Thank it.
not going to say that was worth it because I died, but it could have worked in another world where the thing wasn't, I guess, unstoppable at that point. I wonder. Actual frick, man. Oh, so it interrupts him that time. Mother fricking thing was right on my tail. Get over here. Shut up. No dice. I... 
so I have to hold forward during the uppercut animation. Whoop. this guy doing? You know what? I'm going to leave him there. As a reminder to everyone else what happened here, he will go on to tell the story of the man who died repeatedly, but wouldn't let it stick. Okay, so let's see what perks we have now. Or, yeah, perks. First off, we have wireless transmission. Killing an enemy with an E-combo greatly increases the damage of the next three melee punches. Hmm. Does So would this stack with the other one that makes you hit harder? I think it's on upgrades. Yeah, this one. Would it stack with Fists of Steel? So basically, once you pull them in, you get the extra hit, well, the stronger hit, which brings them closer to dying with the E-Combo. The E-Combo kills them as a result. Then you get three Empowered Punches after that kill. Maybe I, I because you would want to start the next combo with a charge so you get the so you get the buff from fists of steel that would then make the next I don't know if fists of steel would take press priority first and then you get the three empowered melee hits or what but I do want that combo either way even if it doesn't have a synergy. Then we have Supercharge Blast. A shockwave will be released when entering the supercharged mode, dealing damage to nearby enemies 
A. The more damage, the merrier, I say. Also, projectile block would probably be useful for that bug thing that we fought earlier. Just being able to block those flies would be tremendous. We have three perk points, so there is that. Also, we could still get wireless transmission. And then we can wait on getting fists of steel until later. The first thing I want to get is the shotgun augment. Although, that's the thing I have to remember that I have in order to use it, and then it might consume battery, which takes away from using supercharged. We'll play it by ear. Ooh, extra juice increases our maximum energy by one battery. Adrenaline Junkie, whenever a health pickup is about to be dropped in energy... What? I saw that one before. No, we don't want that. I mean... It could work. Keep us... Supercharged more often. Allowing us to kill more enemies. And it doesn't say anything about not working during supercharged, so... Also, we unlocked this, but we don't have the requirements. Oh, I guess I have to pick up... Z no, well... Yeah, I guess I do have to pick up Zipper Slam, huh? Or Zapper Slam. Well, either way, this is wider audience. The Zapper Pool can grab and electrocute multiple enemies at once. Oh, oh, but that requires me to throw away a perk point for something I'm never going to use. Heck, I'd rather get projectile blocked than the zapper slam. But we use this a whole... We use the E-combo after electrocuting an enemy, so we do want this. Hmm? Oh, we can actually get bait and switch. I didn't realize because they're forcing us to get the previous perk for some reason. <sighs> It really shouldn't work like that. Okay, so... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Usually there's a battery icon when something is going to consume it. But this doesn't. I'd love to see how that works. Anyway, here we have bait and switch, which apparently we had a, we've had unlocked for a very long time now, and I just wasn't aware because it was grayed out like these other ones, so I was basically ignoring it. So, we have bait and switch. Dodging sideways or backwards to avoid enemy attacks does not interrupt the melee combo and increases the area effect damage of the next punch. don't know how useful that's actually going to be. I mean, it doesn't take you very far, which makes sense, because otherwise it would interrupt the melee combo. But it, I mean, it could be useful for repositioning when you see another enemy coming. I wonder if it interrupts the E combo, though. Either way, I'm not going to be getting it yet. Maybe depending on whatever the level 10 perk is, but that's an issue for later. Right now, I don't really need supercharge supercharge blast.
I need help more often. It'd be fine if this came with the condition that you would have to be full health for it to spawn the energy pickup instead. That'd be perfect. Because then it wouldn't take away from me being able to heal myself. We have to get Zap Zapper Slam for wider audience. Because why not have to be, have to waste a perk point on something? Don't do that. Don't, don't. Whoa. Still not enough. It'll be a while before we have enough. God damn it. Ooh. So which way are we supposed to go? Wonderful. That seems perfectly fair. Really? See, I wish there were more thing, more areas in the game like this where the enemies are just there. Or they're spawning out of corners or areas where you don't have line of sight. What the fuck is happening? I mean, it's a very good question. Okay. Oh, now that's actually enough to get what's its face. The shotgun, right? Bursting bolts. I think we can all guess what that's about. Bursting bolts. Naturally, it's for the crossbow. The crossbow shoots in rapid bursts. Oh, that's actually... That's actually pretty good. I was expecting them to explode instead, but... Interesting.
everything in its own time. So we came out of there. And of course, we won't be able to shoot from here. God dang it! What? They just... What? You guys saw that, right? I didn't do anything. You saw that, right? Like, like we were just, we were just in the corner here a second ago, and then we, we rolled out of the corner, and everyone just died. I, I can't tell if we actually got XP for their deaths or anything. I'm with Jesse on this. What the frick is happening? I think I'm stuck. Yeah, we're stuck. Oh, really? Is that how we're treating this now? We still have the XP. Like telling you to run, but then forces you to kill the enemies first. Oh, this is going to be good. That must be it. That. No, oh, he's talking about the office in general because I didn't see a briefcase just sitting out here. Hopefully, this boss kills itself for free. I don't know about that just yet. utterly disagreeable.
Okay, that's done. Supercharged now. Hey, bud. I can't crouch, otherwise, I'd teabag. I don't know why I'd like doing that. Christ, it's about time someone sent in the cavalry. I've been hiding here for a week. This ain't a rescue mission, so watch your mouth. I'm here to pick up some documents for Assistant Secretary Harrow. Documents? I don't know anything about any documents. Oh, uh, these documents? You must be the accountant. Uh, Jonathan Q. Biddle at your service. <laughs> uh, Mr. Harrow promised me immediate backup as long as I kept this safe. Harrow's written you off, Biddle. Sent me for the case, not you. All I know is that DC wants that portfolio seized. DC? What an asshole. Harrow isn't trying to leverage this property for the government you hate. He wants it for himself. He wrote me into this scheme for a cut of the profits, and now he's hung me out to dry. That asshole. How big a cut? 10%. Hope it was worth all those soldiers' lives, you greedy little pissworm. I'll take that. Whoa, 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 wait. What about me? How'll I get home? Walk. Good luck with that. Turning the tides, my ass. More like lying in your own pockets, you slimy shit. What the hell are you? Ah, Biddle. Oopsie daisy. You sent two dozen National Guardsmen to their deaths for a paycheck. When the president gets wind of this, you're a dead man. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's just that the way the veins in your forehead are throbbing, it's so <laughs> comical. Mr. Assistant Secretary, these accusations sound serious. And First of all, it's Mr. Secretary now. As in Secretary of War, as in the fucking right hand of God. Secondly, do you think the President of these United States is gonna give a royal fuck about the pissant accusations of a podunk? <laughs> Go ahead, Reggie, do it. Give me a reason to throw your cowpoke ass in a new gate and flends your father's legacy to the bone. Mm. The Harrow Institute has a much better ring to it, don't you think? Mr. Secretary, maybe it would be for the best if you... Maybe it would be best if you stopped interrupting me, you groveling mule! You want to make yourself useful? Get to the kitchen and fetch me a cup of coffee! Now fuck off and find some vampires to kill. That's much more your speed. Well... He's going to die eventually. I'm not too worried about him. Nevertheless, that brings us to the end of yet another episode, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. It's been full of... curiosities, to say the least. <laughs> like, I, I still don't understand what happened. It happened twice, too. Remember the first time where we were fighting the spider thing and the werewolves and then and then we died and we came back and they were just gone. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. We're still on hard mode. I'm certain of it. See? So, I... I uh, 
I will say though, we did make use of our weapons more frequently than we've done before. I, like the the crossbow, I can't be bothered to try and figure out how to swap to, but it's not like it's better than the rifle anyway, so doesn't matter. But we used the flamethrower a whole lot. It's really good crowd control, especially once its range is increased. The shotgun with the little electric orbs, uh, that that's certainly a thing. Whether it's useful or not is a, an entirely different matter, though. And we've still got two other things to unlock over there on the gadget side, I guess. Regardless, that's all stuff that's going to have to wait until next time. Who knows, maybe next episode we get to see Harrow just drop dead from one thing or another. But, you'll have to come back. When is this going up? Thursday, so you'll have to come back next Tuesday and see what happens then. And so with all that said, we will see you. Next time. We'll see you.